Round one of the John Deere Classics is in the book. Good weather provided great scoring opportunities for the golfers today. And they took advantage of it all in vying for a share of the $7.4 million purse. The John Deere Classic is tonight's top story. The pros attacked the course in these favorable conditions. Round one ended with 88 players below par. That's more than half the 156 golfers in the tournament. Now the tournament has built a reputation for crowning several first-time champions over the years who've gone on to win majors. Past champion Zach Johnson refers to the John Deere Classic as the Midwest Major. The tournament director agrees with a lot of people that the JDC is underrated. There are so many markets who would love to have a regular stop on the PGA Tour. We never take it for granted. We've got the best title sponsor on the PGA Tour in John Deere. And honestly, I truly believe we play in the best market on the PGA Tour. This is Andrew Lehman's first year as a tournament director. The fans converged on TBC Deer Run in today's great weather to see the action on the course. The John Deere Classic attracts people from across the country. They come to catch some of the top names in golf. They grab some food from spots like Pork Chop Pill or take time for Photos by the John Deere equipment on display throughout the course. Well, we found some fans who made the trip from Europe. We have come all the way from London, England to see the John Deere Classic. It's been something we've wanted to do for years and years. This year we got the chance to do it, come and see the biggest tournament in golf, and we're just going to have some fun. Well, Madison and Heaps hope to see one of the John Deere Classic concerts, but they don't have tickets for the weekend.